and welcome back to the second half of uh, Money and Finance. We're talking about networking. Uh, and the question of the day actually will uh, set the conversation going, or rather has already set the conversation going. And here it is. How strong are your networks? How strong are your networks? Are they shaky, shaky? And the most important question you need to ask yourself actually as, uh, as an individual is, how many groups in that Cafono of yours are you in that actually do help you? Because at the end of the day, yes, we have the fun groups, the high school, the Zamtani, the home, but are those groups helping you in any way? Can you sell your wares there? Can you sell your, uh, what are they called, um, your services in there? That's a question you need to ask yourself. And I can already see that WhatsApp is on fire. Let's see who's uh, talking to us and where from. Hello, guys. I'm Kevin Wesh from Narok. I have a business idea of starting a food delivery job in Narok, but I do not know how to start. I have the idea, but no capital. What best idea can I take? Thank you very much, uh, Kevin from Narok. That's a very good question, and you're clearly in the business uh, of uh, food and distribution. Mm -hmm. Did you think about, um, did you sit down and you wrote down the idea and probably presented it to someone else and they polished up for you, or how did you start? For the sake of Kevin and his friends who are probably watching. Um, don't get into the food business because you just want to get into the food business. This has to be something you have to be passionate about. Because if you just get into it for the sake of getting into it and for the sake of creating a business, you'll only go for a month or two and then it will drop. So for me, I have loved cooking ever since I was small. So when I quit my job, mm -hmm. I said, ah, so we can make some small mandazis and sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can expertise on this. And right. I'm very good in... I'm a socializer. I socialize a lot. Mm. So I attend a lot of parties, which we ate really bad food. And I was mm. like, guys, if you guys are having a baby shower, I'm here. I don't mind charging you guys just for the food. Mm. I'll cook for free. Yeah. You know, that's passion when you're able to even do something for free. Yeah. So I'd cook for them and do the food delivery and get something small. But if you're getting into it just because you just want to start a food delivery thing, mm. then it's wrong. I've yeah. never written down at your whole list that I want to do this, I'll start from here, I'll do this, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. It just kept coming. Yeah, I just kept researching, uh, getting new ideas, getting new recipes. I meet somebody, I have friends that work in hotels, they show me, hey, you can do this with your chicken wings, add soy sauce, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Do uh, different things mm. and from mm. that it became a market and and here we are and here we are okay yeah. uh, another whatsapp as well coming through what are 20 what kenya wana semanini let us know your location as well we'll be glad to know uh, where we are reaching i'm gimona watching from homa bay county my networks in business is not that uh, much strong being that i am a teacher and still at a young age in which most of my peers make networks for fun activities and not business is it true it's always good to have a side hustle it has saved me, a lo uh, it is true rather, it has saved me a lot during this corona period since I am still a board of uh, member teacher. My small business has seen me not cry loud like mm -hmm. others. Wow. Good for you, Gimona. Yeah. Same thing you told us, uh, Ramadan, yes. in regards to how people uh, should have that kasaid hassle in case mgui ivunjike. Bado uko kwa kukitika game. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the first question he has asked... From was, Narok, yeah. From Narok. Uh -huh. uh, the guy who was asking about... What uh, business to start? He wants to start food delivery. He wants to start food delivery. But I'm <laughs> a capital. So, clearly, he has a dream. <laughs> <laughs> he has a dream. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I'll just tell the guy to read the story about KFC, right? Because um, I also advise um, a lot of entrepreneurs who yeah. want to start business. Go back and read. Read, you know... Um, do a lot of research. By KFC, you mean Kenya? Ke I mean, sorry, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, Kentucky Fried eh, Chicken. The way yes. that guy started, mm -hmm. he started with no capital. Mm -hmm. And if I'm right, um, he, sta he started cooking uh, cuckoo mm -hmm. and selling it to the neighborhood with Kidogo capital. You know, the problem with uh, young people is that we think when we start, we, when we want to start a business, we need to have millions. You don't need to have millions. Mm. You can even start that business with 1,000 shillings yeah. and it will thrive. You can start <laughs> yeah. that business with even 500. Bob. You know, you, you sound yes. like a motivational speaker. Yes. I started my cuckoo business <laughs> with a feather with <laughs> and a beak. <laughs> and it works, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because that is the fear that we have as young people want to venture into business that for me to be in the business, then right. I need to have millions. No, it's not true. Have that idea, mm -hmm. and we will tell him 
uh, the same thing we have told the other lady. Right. You need to do more networks in the community. There's a lot that need to be done. Mm. Then pick an idea from that community okay. and then start it. You know, you don't need to have capital. Start it. All right. With that 500 bob, with that 200 bob, yeah. start it. Answer. A lot of, yeah, answer. A lot of big companies that we, we are seeing today have been started in, you know, bathrooms. Someone yeah. just, and a tengenezele bathroom to be an office. Others, you know, kwa nyumba, watu yeah. wanashikana, wanasema, yeah. okay, let's have meeting in your place twice a week. And mm -hmm. that's that. You see, um, by, by that, by, by using that way, we doesn't have to pay rent, or we yeah. doesn't have to pay office rent to mm -hmm. start with, mm -hmm. but we can use the little resource that we have that doesn't require finance yeah. to start whatever we think mm. that will grow. Okay. So um, don't ever think that business is all about having capital. Mm. No. It's about the idea. It's yeah. about the Anza idea. Anza kaimati. Yes. Anza hapo tu na rock tu hapo. Yes. <laughs> but ya hawa masai wanapita hapo na ngombe yeah. alafu. Yes. Uh, let's check out another WhatsApp yes. message. <laughs> I can hear uh, Anita saying like, yes, <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah. No, it's true. Betty from Riru is saying, hey K24, I sell uh, wigs for mm -hmm. ladies through online. Mm -hmm. I have a page on Facebook. It's not doing well. Please help me to know what I need to do different so that I make my business more productive. Uh, the cooking company. <laughs> yeah. Is it on social media? You, you said because you, yeah. you said that Ulianza Apple told guys that they, you know they can get stuff from you. Yeah. What do you tell someone who's trying to start up their business and actually even networking online? Um, for example, that lady for her wigs mm -hmm. get beautiful people to wear your wigs. Take beautiful photos, guys. Photos sell. Yeah. Don't take a photo on a very crappy phone and mm -hmm. expect to get clients from it. Mm. A client wants to see something. Yeah. You know something yeah. clean so get people to model your wigs uh keep posting you have to keep posting mm. you can't post today and then post next month and mm. then expect people to be excited there are so many pages online there are so many pages that are active and people want that activeness you know yeah. i'm not going to go to a dead page that i last saw a post from 2018 yeah. and they're expecting <laughs> me to buy a wig, <laughs> a, in, a 2020. wig in 2020 from them mm -hmm. yeah so you need to be consistent updated. yes mm. updated what are you selling are you explaining your product are you putting your your pro are you putting your price on your product or you're telling people mm. dm me hey, for kwanza how are prices? dm me yeah mtu anakuwekea wig up alafu anamuuliza ini how much anakwambia tuingie inbox why uh. put your price on the page yeah. uh, me as a client mm -hmm. when i'm reading i want to see all the information okay it's 3000 bob i want to buy let me DM you. Can I get it delivered? I don't want to keep asking you questions mm. back and forth. Mm. So just be consistent on your page. Make clear shots. Um, get influencers. Give away. Do giveaways, you know. Yeah. Get people excited to be yeah. on your page. Like the way I'm getting all this. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So mm. always be consistent. Mm. Do different, basically. Mm. Just right. don't do the norm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see another WhatsApp message as well. Guys, I'm loving the interaction because at least uh, we know that you guys are passionate. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lincoln from Gatanga. My question is, what if you have a business mind, but you have been raised by parents who believe <laughs> life is about having a job and receiving a salary at the end of the month? So when you give them business ideas, they insist on a job, Lazima. <laughs> and Obiero, I think you did mention uh, as we started, and even yes. Anita has mentioned something in that regard. Mm -hmm. Parents always, especially was as the old school. Mm -hmm. I know it's old school because mm -hmm. I'm talking yes. about our parents who are 60 plus. Yes. The <coughs> moment they hear you have a job, that's when they are at peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yes. But they do not know that even the person who owns K24 is the business person. Is the business person Why not right. look at me and think that my son mm -hmm. or my daughter, uh, for that uh, whatever, can be an employer? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. What can you tell this gentleman? Um, uh, to me, first of all, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell him um, to don't lose hope with the, with the dream that he has, right? And uh, if he thinks that he can go far with it, mm. then he can as well try and use different way of convincing um, his parents. Yeah. If the parents will not buy the idea, mm. if I'm him, then I'll sell it even to my uncle and yeah. I get a partner outside there <laughs> and, you know, sell the idea there. <laughs> Uruke wazazi. Yeah, Uruke wazazi. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I also need to tell them. Uh, like I remember, mm -hmm. you know, before I landed where I am, I used to have a very big band. Eh? Mm -hmm. It was called the uh, Kaleleo Band. Mm. I used to 
um because I um I used to be a lead singer so okay. the owner of the band <laughs> okay and remember there yeah, are days no unaka tu mtu wa lingala <laughs> but yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> remember there are these days when you are playing in a band it was yeah. a taboo yes and those those times people believe that people who dies with hiv ba aids ni wasani ni wasani wale wanacheza kwa bands and all over mm. so i remember i told my parents that hey, listen guys um i want to be in music and i'm um, forming this band it's called this this is the name of the band and this is what i want to do right my parents were shocked and they told me i see now you want to die like your uncle did mm -hmm. because my uncle used to be my uncle used to play with the misiani mm -hmm. shirati jazz if you remember shirati jazz yes. for uh these benga musicians mm -hmm. and he died right he didn't die of any cause but they believe mm -hmm. that he died because he was part of the band and right. they were like no you can't go that way mm. and the only way i convinced them is the first pay <laughs> we had a performance okay and i brought this um it was a 30000 bob okay. my salary yeah and i told them look this music can also pay yeah. this 30000 bob i've only made it for a day yeah. but there's a person who will made it after one month mm -hmm. so you see also this can be part of a mm -hmm. job right and then another thing that had added value um there was a person who was supporting us yes. so he decided listen guy before doing music i also want each band member to do different course okay in case of anything in case music doesn't pay mm. you'll be equipped with another different skill okay so that was my second um that was my second thing that also made my parents to accept mm. who i am so i tell them listen our supporter yeah want us to go back to school right and because he is very happy that we are doing music mm -hmm. but now he has told us instead of doing music alone then we can also do other different other things. stuff in life mm. and they were like okay all right you go so he just need to get different ways of convincing the parents that that business might change their life okay. can also change his life it's not all about job and Aye. they also need to use an example of the situation that we are in now yes look things are not good mm. so if the people guy are losing jobs yeah people are so losing we need jobs. businesses actually yeah so, yeah. so okay. a lot of people who are surviving are mm. people who have businesses yeah. that are able to you know to go through this period period of and yeah. it's a very dark period indeed yes uh what's up again yeah. uh on fire as well hi paul how do you create create uh, new networks in a totally new location do I have to have sales or marketing skills for it to work? Since most people say you have to have either. This is Nav from Kirinyaga. Mm -hmm. Nav in Nyakeo, a very big fan of the show. Mm -hmm. She's insisting, or rather she's asking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, and I, I remember I asked you earlier on in mm -hmm. terms of your skills, marketing, mm -hmm. um, just take us through again the whole idea of having a background in, net, in, in marketing. Uh, well, for me, I think in my seven years working as a shop attendant stroke shop assistant manager, I got to interact with a lot of people and not even just clients, even the cleaners at mm -hmm. the mall, even the shop owners at the mall, mm -hmm. you know, these are all networks actually, if you think about it. So I talk to them a lot. I'd uh, do my job <laughs> with due diligence, right. you know, I make sure that I'm on time, mm -hmm. I serve well, and today it has helped me. Because, for instance, a few weeks ago I lost a phone of mine, yeah. and I, cl I called a former client of mine where I used to work, and mm -hmm. I told him, oh, this has happened to me, and it's devastating, there's corona, and he bought for me a phone, and mm. that is my network, because yeah. I met him through where I was before, mm -hmm. and I built a good relationship with those people that I used to meet every day, right. the people that I used to serve every day, mm -hmm. uh, the neighbors around the shops, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see, you can have or cannot, you don't need to have the skills yeah. at the end of the day. It's the people skills yeah. also mm -hmm. uh, that come through. Because at the end of the day, it's not a squeezy degree, but it's not a good thing. I wish I could have a message on WhatsApp. I wish I could have a message on WhatsApp. I wish I could have a Hello, guys. I'm Shali from Kisumu. I'm a network lover and love doing online jobs through, uh, though still a student, and having less connections makes it hard to grow in my platform that is crowd, crowded, I think. I just need help to get more clients to join my business. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think she's saying that 
kai ne kai kabiya shara akana crowd kana watu no business is ever too crowded <laughs> no business is ever too small it's up to you you need to be the go getter you even if you literally have to go into the matatu and tell somebody like this page mm. by yeah? force you know Ikibidi. yes <laughs> because you have to insist you have to push yeah. your product as well you yeah. have to push your page again you can't have a stagnant page and ex expect it to have mm. frequent traffic on it right so you have to push push don't get tired mm. there's no business that is too small that i can't get 10000 followers right. it's me to push for the 10000 followers uh, nobody's yeah. walking in at it to find the cooking company i have to talk about the cooking company yeah, to because people. we have other media other companies yeah, exactly. out there yeah. and there's so many food businesses out there like mm. millions but if i don't stand for myself and mm. speak for myself and my company mm. of course i won't get traffic on my page okay yeah all right what's up again coming through <laughs> <laughs> kindly mr obiro can you help me uh, how to go about a business idea your boutique yet the house rent for uh, businesses over 15000 and you're told to pay six months. This is Mudom, Mudomi again uh, from uh, Kerugoya. Wato na kwambianga, shika hii nyumba ni mekupatia rent, lakini lipa for six months. For six months, and you have a capital of 15. <laughs> or for 15k to start your business. Right. Uh, so what, what I'll tell uh, Mudomi again is, um, you know, um, we don't pay rent in social media. Mm. You can't pay rent in Facebook, you can't mm -hmm. pay rent in Twitter can pay rent in LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. and uh, yes, Instagram. And, uh, and Instagram. Right. She can start from there, right? Mm -hmm. And start selling is uh, her product from, mm -hmm. from, from social media platform. Okay. Pole Pole, when he will start making more money, then he can think of now mm -hmm. renting a location. Right. Because uh, it's not a must that you have a location for your business in this era. Mm. Uh, people are doing online businesses and they're doing very well yes and you cannot also um spend a lot of money in a location that you think might not because he can rent yes for six months and maybe will not even return the six month rent in a certain period imagine so she can start with social uh with the social media platform to sell her uh, a product there and then pole pole when she start making money she mm. can start thinking about having a location if it's necessary mm. if social media platform is doing very well there's no need of a location nowadays people are working from home people are working in different places people mm. are working from hubs and they are doing very well right so doesn't need to have an office for a, for yeah. a workplace right yeah yes uh for you did, did you do you have like an office or a kitchen where you semanga killers go to amka to have kuchukwa mat go to that kitchen you know, make sure things are running with, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure you have uh, partners or even cooks yeah. that help you out. Yeah. Mm. When we started, I was cooking at home. Mm. But then, again, answering to Mudoni's, mm. don't go online if you don't have your clients, you mm. don't have your ready-made clients. Mm. Like, you know, every week, Mbogwe is going to buy from me a thousand. Just start small. Mm. Don't go big, mm. so big at first. Mm -hmm. You have 15,000, buy stock. Yeah. Yeah, buy dummies, dress your dummies, do that. Yeah. So for me, I started cooking at home. Uh, a year later is when I got a kitchen. Now yeah. I have a fully staffed kitchen. We mm -hmm. have staff uh, mm -hmm. that help me around. Okay. Yeah, and it's now functioning, and we're soon going to start an administration block, and now hey, we can get administration <laughs> block. Uh -huh. And now we can put in. We, we're going to hire more people, more cooks. We need people doing now the back marketing. And stuff because me i cook me i love to cook yeah and i love my hand to cook the food that you're going to eat i don't want to blame my staff and say when do you and as a yovi buyer exactly mm. so i want to do the cooking myself and designate other people to do something else all right but start small don't be embarrassed of where you are sell it online online platform is the best platform right yeah because yeah, even i've sold a lot Ever since we've started, mm. online has been my... So for you, yeah. online marketing and networking? Online marketing, online networking. Mm. As I told you, I was working with a lot of uh, social media influencers. Mm -hmm. These are people with like 200,000 viewers. Mm. And they repost you, they like your food, and you get... By the way, it sells. Social yeah. media sells, guys. It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do we have another one coming through? What's up? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Greetings, K24. I'm Kelvin from Embu. I've always wanted to own a dairy farm. 
Uh, it might be a long shot uh, given the high investment capital, but it's okay to dream big provided you are not afraid to start small. Yeah. Please enlighten me on how I can become a prolific dairy farmer in the near future. Ah, yeah. Mr. Obiero, <laughs> you been Jamawa Kwanza poultry farming with a feather and a beak. <laughs> Ujama, <laughs> of course that's a joke, but yes. Ujama, how should he approach uh, that business? Um, I don't know where he is. Uh, maybe I'm going to location here to get you because mm. he might be living in Nairobi. Yeah. yeah. Now it's a concrete jungle. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Unless we want to be a landlord, we put in space and we can home. I want to start, but we believe he's in uh, sharks. Eh? Uh -huh. But I'll, uh, the simple advice, as Anita has said, uh, start small with that kawan ngombe, which is not expensive, which is um, which you can manage for quite uh, some time, and then pole pole, you know get another one when you're growing get another one and get another one and one day it will it will grow to be to be a big farm mm -hmm. so for him is to start small and if he doesn't have enough resources then he doesn't need to go and um, stress himself by you know starting big which in as a course mm. work and then it pack fire so okay. me i'll tell him in a very simple way mm. package yourself talk with people mm. You know, um, in my home where I come from, yes, there are people who can bring cows for you, okay, to take care of. Oh, and then you can milk and sell. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it gives birth, the day he will come to pick his ngombes, mm -hmm. then you can be left with one ndama, ndama, yes, as as thank you. Okay, right. Mm. Uh, yeah. So if you live in Nairobi and you have you want to have cows at home, there are those people who will buy from Nairobi and take them home. Right. Maybe that compound doesn't have people, mm -hmm. and you are a neighbor there. Mm. Then they give it to you to take care of it. All right. So you need to talk with people, and you can also ask a neighbor mm. if he doesn't have cash. Yeah. You know, I believe he has. Uh, family. Mm. And, uh, mm. Give me one. I want to. This is my dream. Okay. Give me one dama. I want mm. to take care of it. I want mm. to start this kind of a project. Mm. And you need to make sure that is well, well packaged. So okay. when even even if he's going to ask for for a dama from a neighbor from from a friend, mm -hmm. they'll get clearly what his dream is. Okay. So that is what I tell him. All right. And right. uh, Let's check out another mm -hmm. last what's up. Uh -huh. Nia Jenny, tukopoa sana, show iko top kama kawaida, ni Malcolm kutoka na Nyuki. Hey K24, uh, I realized that simple things make a difference. I never get afraid of starting anything. Malcolm from Nanyuki. Thank you very much, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder what you have started, Malcolm. Because <laughs> clearly you look like someone who's ambitious and who can start a lot of things, including mm -hmm. Mombeza Kinobio. <laughs> but um, as we you know, uh, close off uh, on this note, I just want to ask for you, how... Mm -hmm. How did you convince your parents, uh, and especially your mom, because oh, Akina mom don't know she does mm. How did you convince them that, look, mom, it's going to be okay. Even if things fail, you'll be a shara for takeoff. Nita kwa tusawa. Well, results. You know, the results started showing. I started calling her more like, hey, I'm going for a gig. And she's like, oh, this is exciting. You know, this weekend we have a wedding. This weekend we're doing this. So she started seeing the results, and that's what's important. You can't tell your family you want to start grazing cows and you don't even have a cow, mm. you know. Mm. Show them. Make, do the work. Yeah, don't give them the work to do for you. Yeah, you need to start it off yourself. Then show them it's working, and from there, then they start supporting you. Like now, my mom is my biggest fan. Mm. She's like, oh, you're not working, eh, Sana. Sana. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, eh. job leo nko. Eh. Ah, nenda hata kai interview leo. Like, oh, eh. my daughter, you're doing well. Yeah. Is she so, watching? Uh, she's in Shags, but oh, okay. uh, we're recording for her, so oh, okay. she'll be sent for a clip. All right. But yeah, show them that. There's results behind it. Mm -hmm. It's just not talk you're talking mm -hmm. and show them that you're independent enough and you can actually handle this. Okay. Yeah, but if you tell them I'm starting this and uh, you're depending on them, Mama Kiambia and Tineni and Ifanyeni, no, you mm. do it. When they're hearing, oh, you're cooking for Janet Mbogwa, she's yeah. like, wow, wow yeah. that's awesome, my girl, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Obiro, closing remarks. Uh, bandi lienda api? <laughs> <laughs> bandi li dedi. Okay. But we still, tuna, uwa tunakutana. Ah, yeah. Yes. Um, but what I'll tell uh, young people is um, do more of networking mm -hmm. and avoid um, the group that has uh, a lot of uh, 
just story stories mm. that doesn't have value za kutuma tuma memes za kutuma zinatuma memoji zile zinapita zikichungulia what people have said yeah. so me i'll tell a lot of young people to try and network with more people who have also followers in these social medias sell your idea outside there don't be afraid eh? even if they steal it we say jali um 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 i've tried so many ideas that uh uh people ran out people uh, what will happen now mm -hmm. but you know the the beauty of it is at least where will where i am ukiba my idea i'll be like ah it was a good thing so yeah. if it will help people well and good mm -hmm. if it will not help people back fire uko then well mm. and good yeah, yeah but <laughs> is <laughs> there is, is is very important to yeah. do network you never know through network you can get job yeah someone can see you have a good skill mm -hmm. they can employ you i'm working because of the network i'm an acumen fellow class mm -hmm. of 2012 Right. And I'm still working because of that network we built mm. during that time. Mm. And the boss who has employed me till to date yeah. is an acumen fellow who we met through that network and he still believe in what I'm doing. Right. Uh is the, the CEO of the Junior Achievement. Mm. And through that network I do different stuff. Okay. Uh um because we are 12 fellows. And you see if you talk about what you are good at. Yeah. In a network of uh, people who can help you right. and they see different potential in you, mm. you will be calling different things that you, you can do. So you can okay. get a job, you, you will be more, uh, you will get ideas, mm. you will get business ideas, mm -hmm. you will be more strong okay. than you were before, All right. before sharing. Yeah. So um, what I'll just tell them, my last word is, do more networks and kindly be in good networks that can add value in your life. Okay. There are so many, but some doesn't add value. All right. Kindly choose the one that can sell you out mm. and make sure when mm. you're also doing network online, package yourself very well. Let people understand what you are doing so okay. that they can start following you. All right. They can start even calling you for your services. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Obiro, I'll give you a chance to network. 07 Wakupate Wapi. 0723 uh -huh. 39508. All right. Yes. Um, Anita, Lazima <laughs> the cooking company. How can they reach you, whether on social media or on phone? So they can find us on Instagram, uh, the cooking company underscore Kenya. Mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook, the mm -hmm. cooking company Kenya. Mm -hmm. And our telephone number is 0742 478 278. You can buy this, uh, whatever, they're very uh, absolutely amazing, and this juice as well. Nitamu uh, Tena Sana. We leave it at that. Thank you very much for your interaction. In case you need to reach them, uh, you didn't catch those contacts, you can always reach out to us through our social media pages, and we'll definitely put in touch with these amazing uh, individuals. Until tomorrow, it's going be, um, to be an amazing day because next is Shikoka Itani taking you through the daily brief. Until tomorrow, Kwaheri.